Hey folks, I'm Jen Foxbot and welcome to Maker Quest. In this episode, I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to prototype like MacGyver or how to source materials for a very low cost. So first of all, think before you trash. In other words, think about the things that you're throwing away and how you can either repurpose them or use them for a second life. Especially with electronics, there are lots of different things that you can do with them. For example, a desktop computer has all kinds of super useful components in it. Um, one really uh, easy way to use a desktop computer is to pull out the power supply and use it as your own uh, personal power supply. You can get 12 volts, 5 volts, and 3.3 volts from pretty much every desktop computer power supply. Um, alternatively, most electronic devices like cameras and laptops and things like that have uh, different power adapters on them. So this one, for example, converts your wall voltage into 19 volts and 3.4 amps. So if you start saving up these different power cords from all the electronic devices that you have lying around, you can get a pretty good selection of um, sources for different types of projects. Uh, I have a friend that also started using these different pin connectors for his Arduino projects. So he just takes the different pins and applies uh, different functionalities to them. So you can either solder directly to the pins or you can open up the connector and um, add in your components that way. These are really cool because uh, since there's not very much demand for them these days, you can get them really cheap from electronic supply stores or eBay. Um, headphones and other cords can be stripped and used for wires and other projects. Or if you have a bunch of different headphones lying around, you can start Frankensteining them together. Uh, so for example, if one of the headphones breaks but the audio jack still works, you can swap out a headphone um, from another pair. Um, also, those pesky audio cassette adapters break like every three months. And so typically what I'll do is I will um, cut off the headphones on an old pair that doesn't work anymore and then just use the cord as a replacement for the um, for the audio cord on the cassette adapter which is almost always what breaks first. So second point, um, everyday household objects can have lots of different useful alternative applications than what you're typically um, using them for. So uh, just get creative and look around what you have around your house and see how you can use them in different ways. So for example, I keep a stash of rubber bands, toothpicks, um, twist ties, different containers, jars, bottles, etc. Um, for lots of different projects. Um, you can use them uh, to build things out of or you can use them to store things. Think about different materials that are conductive. For example, I used to throw away pennies because why do we have pennies? And then I realized they're actually covered in copper, so they conduct. Paper clips are also super useful too because they conduct. They're really great for kids since you can make switches out of them. So uh, children can get, or adults, can get a good sense of how electricity conducts and how you can break it. So number three, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to work. You can get breadboards like this from eBay for less than a dollar. I also recommend investing in a microcontroller like a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino. The Raspberry Pi is a $25 computer, plus shipping and handling, um, but it can control audio, visual, and hardware devices using the general purpose input and output pins, or GPIO pins. Arduino microcontrollers, the large ones, typically run more expensive than the Raspberry Pi, uh, but they're lower power. Uh, you can also get an Arduino Nano for less than $10 from eBay. Uh, if you're looking for construction materials like scrap wood, metal, plastic, fabric, uh, always ask friends and family for stuff that they have in their backyard or their basement or whatever. Uh, you can also go visit construction sites and see if they have anything that they're willing to let you take in exchange for them not having to throw it away. And you can always check trash bins or dumpsters for uh, different things. Although I like to follow the rule of being good or not getting caught. So if you do go the route of trash bins or dumpsters, I recommend talking to the store owner to make sure that it's okay with them. And lastly, quick mention on tools. You can build tons of things with just a hot glue gun and some duct tape. So like I said, maybe not pretty, but it'll work. So with just these two tools and some ingenuity, you can build things for free or extremely cheap. Um, so I'll leave it there for now. If there are any questions or if there are any specific components that you're trying to source for cheap or for free, please let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching and please subscribe.